Do you believe that I've made over 1,000 short videos in just 15 minutes with the help of AI? Now you will say, WHAT? What the f- Look, I've created these 1,000 shorts videos in just 15 minutes. Don't worry, I'll teach you step by step how you can make similar videos that can earn money and get millions of views. The good thing is, you can also post these videos on Reels and TikTok. But before I make the videos, let me show something you. Here are some YouTube channels that upload short riddle videos and have received a lot of views. These videos go viral because they keep viewers interested and engaged. People feel curious about solving the riddles quickly, and that's why they watch the whole video. You can see positive comments from viewers. The reason these videos get more views and go viral is that people watch them for longer, boosting their popularity. By the way, you can also make longer riddle videos where your earnings can increase by 10 times. If you want a detailed video on this, comment yes, okay? Now, let's talk about making money from these videos. To monetize your channel, you need to meet YouTube's criteria. If you keep uploading short videos, reaching 10 million public views within 90 days is quite achievable. Since I'll be making 1,000 short videos in this video, I guarantee that even if you upload two videos per day, you'll reach 10 million views in no time. YouTube is promoting short videos more than longer ones to compete with Instagram Reels and TikTok. All right, let's find out how you can create Riddle videos. You can take advantage of ChatGPT or Google Bard for this. Both are pretty good. Right now, I'll be using ChatGPT, okay? So just go to ChatGPT and ask it, are you ready to help me? ChatGPT will respond, yes, I am ready. Now, you have to tell ChatGPT, provide me five interesting riddles to solve. ChatGPT will generate some riddles for us. Nice. Next, you'll need to give ChatGPT a longer task. Just tell ChatGPT, your role as an esteemed riddles aficionado involves crafting five intriguing yet quick riddles for your audience to unravel. These riddles aim to captivate and amuse the participants with their simplicity. Each riddle must offer three options, presenting only a single correct answer. Utilize the table format provided below to showcase your set of riddles. Serial number, title, hook, body, option one, option two, option three, answer, followed by an example like title, animal riddles challenge, hook. Let's test your animal instincts. Body, I'm the king of the jungle, known for my mighty roar. What am I? Option one, elephant. Option two, lion. Option three, giraffe. Answer, lion. I'll include this prompt in the description below so that you can copy and paste it there, okay? After doing this, press enter. So you will see that ChatGPT has given us riddles as per our requirement, perfect. Sometimes ChatGPT might not give the riddles in a table format. In that case, tell ChatGPT, use a table format, and it will create the table for you. All right, if you try the same process in the Google Bard, you'll likely get similar results. You can use whichever works best for you. Now, we need 1,000 riddles. Just tell ChatGPT 1,000 more and see what ChatGPT responds with. Creating 1,000 riddles might be a bit too extensive, but here are a few more to add to your collection. So, what's next? To generate 1,000 riddles within an hour, you'll need to repeatedly give prompts like continue, keep going, don't stop, etc. It's not necessary to generate exactly 1,000. You can do 500 or even 100. It takes time, but it's necessary. Okay, honestly, it took me half an hour to generate 1,000 riddles, but that's all right. Once you've generated 1,000 riddles, you'll need to copy all of them. But how do you copy 1,000 riddles at once? It's a challenging task. Let me explain. First, copy one set like this. Then go to Microsoft Excel. Choose the first cell and paste it here, okay? The rows and columns might seem too big here. To fix this, select the first row, then holding the Shift key, select the last row. This will select all rows, then drag the mouse upwards to adjust their size. Doing this will make all rows and columns the same size. Similarly, enlarge the column for the body text so that all the text becomes visible. Okay, now it looks perfect. Next, you need to copy all the data from ChatGPT and paste it into Excel. You'll have to delete this unwanted text like this. Similarly, prepare the entire Excel sheet. It's a little time consuming, but it's quite easy. All right, now that our Excel sheet is ready, you can copy and paste it into Google Docs if you want. It's your personal choice. Okay, so now we have 1000 riddles. Let's move to the next step. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it quickly. Okay, once you're in Canva, select the mobile video option. All right, here's your Canva video dashboard. First, head to Elements and search for a motion background. 
you'll find plenty of motion background videos. Choose a nice one. All right, now add a text layer here. Go to your Google Sheet, copy the first title, and paste it here. Drag the text upward, you can adjust it as you like. Then, go back to Elements and add a rectangle. Fit the rectangle behind the text and add a gradient color to it. After that, select both with the Shift key and group them. Perfect. Next, add another rectangle. Change its color to black. Reduce its opacity from here and position it on top of the video layer. All right, add another text layer and change its font style to something bold. Go back to the Google Sheet, copy the hook and paste it here. Increase the font size and adjust it perfectly. Okay, now in Elements, search for an image where someone is gesturing upward. This one looks good. I'll just add it and then go to the edit photo and remove its background. Perfect. Let's add some animation. Choose the text and add a nice animation. Add different animations to each element to make the video interesting. I'll add the wiggle effect to the image. It'll give it a cool look. Okay, after this, right click the first text, hit show timing. Now you can see the text timeline, but we don't need to change anything here. Right click on the second text layer, hit show time again, then play it from this point in the timeline. All right, do the same for the image. Perfect. Let's go back to the sheet, copy the first riddle and paste it here. Adjust the font size so it's easy to read, not too small or too big. Okay, now go to effects and apply a background effect. Choose a color that's clearly visible. Add an animation. Perfect. Copy and paste this text, change the text content, and alter the background color. Okay, create two more copies. Change the text in all of them and adjust everything properly. After this, select all three, add the typewriter animation, and choose On Enter. Remember, the new element should appear when the previous one disappears. Okay, let's add a timer. Go to Elements, search for a timer, and choose the one you like. I'll add this one and set the timer accordingly. Perfect. Copy and paste this text element, press Alt and overlap it, change its background color, keep the text color black, and apply the pulse effect in animations. Nice. After this, go to the position and select the second element and keep its timing such that it disappears as if the timer ends. Do the same for the answer element, making it appear as the timer finishes. Perfect. One last thing. Go to Elements, search for a happy kid, and add it. Set its timing to match the answer element. Perfect. Let's play. Nice, but there's still something missing. Yes, background music. You can get background music from the YouTube audio library. Just search for kid and you'll find plenty of copyright free music. Download it and upload it to Canva. Adjust the volume a bit. Now, I'll use another sound effect, a happy children's sound effect. I'll upload it and sync it well. All right, let's play it. Nice, it's looking really good, huh? 
Let's move on to the next step. This step is quite magical. I'll show you how to automate the next process. Pay close attention and learn. Okay, you need to go to apps and search for bulk create. Then click on enter data manually. Clear the table. Now go to your Google sheet, select the first 50 rows, copy it, click here and paste it. Then simply click on done. You can copy the entire data if you want, but not yet. I'll explain why we didn't do it this way further. This step might be a bit confusing, so pay attention. Now, you need to connect the data to the elements. Click on the first element and click on connect data. So the first element has been connected. You'll need to do this for all the elements with their respective data. It's an easy process. Just follow my video. Perfect. Once all data is connected, just click on continue and hit generate pages. With one click, our 50 shorts will be ready. I didn't add all the data because if I did, all the shorts would look the same. For example, the same background video. That's why I chose this method, okay? You can create the rest of the videos in the same way. Just keep changing the background motion video. Follow the same process I showed at the beginning. In elements, you can choose any motion background, okay? So you need to complete the remaining process in the same way, all right? After the shorts are ready, please check once to make sure everything looks good. You can even make changes to any design. I mean, if you want to change the background video, font size, etc., you can do that for each design, okay? Once all your work is done, go to download, choose MP4, and check the download page as separate files. Hit the download button, perfect. So this way, you can create unlimited YouTube shorts on any topic. If you need more tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to comment and let me know. Also, don't forget to watch that other video, where I explain how you can create a profitable money-making faceless video. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.